so I'm showing clips of Sea of Thieves, showing some pictures on social media, uh, knowing that I'm going to get two of the responses. I'm going to get people that's going to like it, and I'm going to get people that don't like it. But regardless, that's fine. Everybody's entitled to their opinion. What I'm not understanding a week later, that the rhetoric from the same group of people is just getting louder and louder and louder about how much this game sucks, how much Sea of Thieves has no content, it's a lack of this, the cracking is half a body, the, the you know, spending sixty dollars for this. I'm gonna get rid of my Xbox because of this. I'm 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 finished I'm finished I'm tired of this. Microsoft is dead. All of it I'm like what? I'm just showing game clips. I'm not telling anybody you better like this game or else. And again Trying to convince me of anything that I'm already convinced of is pretty damn hard to do. It's rarely been done. I'm very headstrong. If you have been following this channel, you've been listening to me on podcasts. I do not bend. I keep it. I keep it. Keep it going. I keep it moving, Jack. I don't change. So to try to convince me that the game is this way or that way, well, we all know what it is. Is that they want to troll me? They want me to be frustrated, and I'm not. I laugh at this. I look at these fragile people that keeps constantly telling me of what's wrong with this game and most of them haven't played it they're just going by what metacritic scores or by rate by ratings and we know that that stuff can all be can be uh sabotaged so we regardless i'm not really ca caring about it you can tell me about a person's review and i can tell you i can give you a review saying something totally different look i get that there's people out there that don't like sea of thieves every game is going to have some sort of negative aspect to it it's going to have something that's wrong with it and that's why you can talk to the developers and they'll work hard for you but the notions that see if thieves is this new uh what is it, the new street fighter 5 or the new um no man's sky it's absolutely ridiculous no man's sky had this bigger larger than life type of aspect like this game was supposed to change everything and I remember me bringing up something like, wow, everything, this game is supposed to change how all these games are going to be made. This is like, this is what's going to propel indie developers into the next plateau from a game that's what, like five gigs? Five gigs? Whoa. Endless worlds? Endless regenerated worlds? And you can go, you ain't going to be able to see anybody for years, maybe? Months? And it was less than a week. When people ran, when some YouTubers ran into one another, and it was like what three, four days? I don't even think it was that long. Of just showing, just these people made these assumptions that this game was going to be so massive, and then what happened? Instead of Sony having their back, Yoshida and them said, "I'm out. I'm not even talking about this game," and left that developer on the hook. And No Man's Sky was was pretty much done. And when they did add content to it, it was like, what, a year later? Sad. Unfortunate. There was a saying that the developer was having a was having a nervous breakdown because of the, the stress of what he was going through with this game. And that's unfortunate because the man put bled his blood, sweat, and tears into wanting to make this game and trying to get the game to look and be what he envisioned. It just didn't happen. And then these the comparisons about Street Fighter V is what's really funny to me as well because Street Fighter has been out for decades and there was no excuse for Street Fighter V to come out the way that it did, especially asking for full price on top of DLC. And let's not forget about the microtransactions with the outfits and all of that. You know, somebody was trying to make this argument, well, you can just go and you can play, play, play and get everything with the money currency in the game, mega. Okay. All right. How many people actually did that? Yeah. Not very many. So, again, for the people out there that played like that, that's great. But you still had to buy extra costumes you still had to buy for extra stages not everybody you didn't have they made it to where it was so difficult to where you had to buy that DLC or you would just be lacking you would have to be really putting in that dedication and I'm pretty sure that there were some people that did but again it wasn't justifiable and for people out there that talks about microtransactions and loot crates and boxes and stuff like that Street Fighter got away that's how Street Fighter survived that's how Street Fighter 5 survived was off of people paying for that. I was one of the people that bought microtransactions for the for the game, for both games. 
for the one on the PC and for the one I got on the four, right? So again, you can try to put that square block into that circle, but it's not gonna work. <laughs> I mean, you can force it, it can, you can make it happen, but eh, I'm, I'm not feeling that. I'm not feeling that whatsoever. And when you wanna go back to some games that you had to pay full price for, that were bare bones, just go back to the old Madden's and Last Gen. When they first started out, those games were bare bones compared to their predecessors on the PlayStation 2 and on the original OG Xbox and on uh, the GameCube. Like, it was it was light and day. You had all these features and all of a sudden they took it away. That's why I didn't buy Man for like four years. I was like, this is crazy. And then when I played a Man tournament, I got, I, I won a Madden and I played it, you know, I played it with the homies and stuff like that. But no, I was like, no, this is not the same type of game. So to compare games that tried to get away with highway robbery to see if these and what they're doing with a new IP with free content and you have the option to not buy it you can get it off of game pass I'm not getting the I'm not getting all the hate I really am not so again nobody is asking or begging people to like Sea of Thieves or any other games that I may like or other individuals may like but it's not up to that individual to tell other individuals not to like that game because they don't like it I think that's very irresponsible to be a content creator and I find it to be I find it to be bitch made in my opinion I really do and that's not because we're talking about just Sea of Thieves I'm saying that for any game that's out there because these developers has put blood sweat and tears behind these uh, behind these works and regardless if these games don't come out the way they think that these games while they visioned them it's still hard work to do what they're doing and look the people that make the most money are the ones that do it right the ones that's out here grinding and trying to make it happen they'll keep learning they'll keep progressing it's just like everyday work with everything else that we do in life so again it's not here it's just like with a waitress or a waiter when you go to there and their service is not very good i've always never understood the people that wanted to berate those people for serving your food or whatever your, your coffee or whatever and you berate them because you didn't like their particular service. I always treat those type of people with the same respect as though I would want to be treated if I was working in that same position. It's no different than these developers out here that's busting their ass to try to get something right for you. And it's not me saying that the developers are always right. They do some grimy shit. But again, if you don't like that particular game, then don't buy it. Don't support it. I will continue to support Sea of Thieves, I will stream it, and for any other games out there that I like, I will stream. It doesn't really matter what other people have to say about a game that they don't like towards a game that I like. I mean, when you go and you look and see what's trending on social media when it's regarding with gaming, it's so toxic. But look, man, for all the hate that goes around there, I'm like Teflon. I don't care. It doesn't bother me. But for others, it might. And just... Don't worry about the Reddit, man. Just enjoy what you want to enjoy. Doesn't matter what game it is, what console it's on, if it's on the PC, if it's on whatever, your, your mobile phones. Just enjoy the games that you like to enjoy. All right, everybody have a good one. Peace. As a kid, I had a lot of money. Knotted up, rubber band money. Next to the Xbox thrown in my Jordan box, I think it was my 13s, something that I rarely rock, white and black high top, I used to wear the high socks, back when I was falling, shooting